waited long enough. Here they are, Dynamite, Dynamite Ducks. Uh, they banned Tychus and Anubarak. Wellmet banned Stitches and Falstad. And the map is, by the way, Cursed Hollow. Interesting. So. Uh, especially the, um, the Anubarak ban uh, on Cursed Hollow. That's, that's a little bit interesting for me, though. Because I I don't think that he is uh, yeah that um, that important on this map to be one of your two bands, but okay there we go. Well, they they might just hate him, to, hate to face <laughs> off against him, since um, I don't know uh, he's he's a really he's a really good initiator. And um, let, let's have a look at their remaining composition, otherwise it doesn't make too much sense to talk about this right now. Just okay. want to note down uh, what we have for the bands here. Stitches and Falstad, we've actually seen that uh, combination of bands out of uh, Zoc uh, out of Well Met before um, in, their met uh, in their match versus Fast Forward. So yeah, maybe a lot of teams really hate Stitches, hate going up against Stitches at least. Yeah, because the if if you time the hooks well, he can be a real pain. But I'm surprised to see Falstead banned because I think that's one of Hazwap's favorites. Or isn't he playing at all for Well Met today? Oh, he is. He is. He is. Um, we have Tassadar and Ufer picked up for Well Met, and then let's see what do we have here. Um, Arthas and Brightwing for Dynamite Ducks. Uh, just gotta note everything down. Uther. So pretty regular pick out of um, out of well met with Tassel and Uther. Mm -hmm. so one of uh, I mean those two are just so solid um, and make an excellent contribution to to any uh any composition i mean uh if you want to pick out single targets if you um if you want to go in and just dish out that damage but how they just well we should have gotten that link earlier i mean uh, they're already starting in the match now getting ready so yeah yeah but uther and and Tassad are pretty top notch at the moment uh same uh for brightwing and artas basically. So we can be looking forward to an interesting match here. Uh, Diamond, uh, Dynamite Ducks versus Well Met on Cursed Hollow and we are right about to start. Have we finished the draft? Um, I was uh, No, not, not yet. And okay. It's actually a little bit weird. We're gonna go into that right now. I'll just note down the last things here. And Muradin. So, uh, I think Nomi is currently the only one that just plays uh, Muradin on a regular basis. Yep, at least at, at competitive level. Yep, um, alright, let's jump into the game. On the left side, heroes. here on Cursed Hollow, we have our blue team. And it is well met. They have Ufer, Zagara, Murden, Tassadar, and in the bot lane, Raynor. And on the right hand side, we have uh, the team uh, Dynamite Ducks. And they have Vala, uh, Brightwing, Abathar, Artas, and Nazibu. And they're gonna do a little push here with three guys in the mid. Or at least two. Abathar might jump in to help with the symbiote. And they have a really weird composition. Uh, they have two specialists here. They have Abathur and Azebo. Uh, then Brightwing is kind of a weird pickup. Um, well, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Um, not not the regular pickup, at least, for um, for the primary healer. Um, you usually see her only if, if Rhaegar is banned. We didn't see a ban on Rhaegar, so it's a little bit weird. And then they have Valor as the assassin and only Arthas as the single... Um, as a single warrior, though Zagara does fill a little bit of that warrior role um, for them. 
of so course, we'll, we'll see how that works out. She can do that, um, but also you have to keep in mind that your first line of, of brawlers or tanks, if you will, is pretty squishy in, in that regard. So, and here's the stun on Nazibu, and um, I wonder if he's getting Ooh, get away. Zombie really ball. nice zombie ball. Third. Zombie count is my oh, pick up here. going down. Oh yeah. Oh, a little bit of a mistake on my part here. Zagara is actually on a uh, well met side. Oh. So yeah. uh, they only have a single warrior, and uh, Abathur, of course, um, this is going to be a really, really strong mid lane here with Nazebo, Abathur, and Brightwing. Uh, Arthas can stand uh, stand his ground against Rainer in the bot lane. No worries about that at all. Uh, Vala, a uh, little bit troublesome versus uh, versus Zagara in the top lane. Yeah. But this mid lane is just so strong with these three guys. Immense pushing power. Oh, yeah, uh, Nazibu and Abathur alone uh, would make every lane a nightmare in terms of pushing. And Nazibu even has crazy damage. And now we have a disconnect here. Oh, I hope Passerops gets back in the game. I don't know if he's in Krefeld right now uh, with the other guys mm. for, uh, for the, the Home Story Cup, but. Maybe they have some connection issues there. Um, don't know where they're staying. You know what the rule says about this? Mm, no, I don't think there are repeats, so I think it just goes on. Okay. So At now least it's on Rainer, so um, I mean he doesn't have that many abilities. Let's hope the bot just sticks to sticks to the plan. <laughs> <laughs> the first tribute is coming up, and. Dynamite Ducks are already in position, Brightwing is next to it. I don't know, they should probably go and hide in the bushes if they can. Well, I don't I don't think well Matt is even going for it. No, they leave the uh, tribute untouched. And so uh, team um, Dynamite has the first tribute. Yeah. Oh. Taking the tribute, no issues there. Hasuop's still not in the game yet, now he's back. That uh, does take a little bit to load back into the game. And he's helping out Paws and Clown uh, with a hard camp. So they do have the easy camp in top lane. Doing a pretty good job pushing here. They might have gotten Vala here. She's pretty low. Yeah. And, does and she, is she on cooldown right now? Yes, she no. should be. She's she's uh, using the Hearthstone, so no fountain for Vala. And now Brightwing is alone uh, against the pushing uh, Zagara here. But Zagara and also returns. She, she already ran out of ammo here on the bottom tower. Um, did get a little bit more uh, ammunition though, so now she's fine. And well met, they're gonna pick up the next tribute. They uh, already hiding in the bushes. Yeah, they're gonna try and they have a really, really good position here. Brightwing can come go down there since the is in position, Mirrodin is waiting and he wants to get the stun off on Brightwing. And they have three heroes right there. Mirrodin just patiently waiting for Dursey to make the yeah. wrong move. But now Team Dynamite shows up and the Valor is a little bit exposed. Good dodge roll on the Muradin. And nice and polymorph there on Thousand Clown. He does get away though. And oh, Dynamite Ducks, they want to find a nice position to get in there. But they're so spread out. Valor's not even in the fight. And now Arf is just hitting the minions right there. And Tassila just picks up the tribute. No worries. Yeah. Iruki um, just so well shielded there uh, by Nomi and, and Pausenclown on the right side. This coming up from two angles plan sounds good on paper, but makes no sense when you attack into a choke point. So, and I guess that's what they figured. Well, it was kind of hard with Vela being out of position. Um, it, it can work, but the position they had right there for the tribute was not the best. And oh, looks like Arvis might be in trouble, but he gets away. Hides behind the wall there, and we should be seeing our gang squad on the move again. We have, meanwhile, a tribute spawn on the bottom lane, and Reyna's already in position. Nazibo's waiting patiently there, and the rest of Team Well Met is gathering as well around the tribute. Uh, they want to buy time for Reyna. Nazibo is contesting, and it seems like they could get the second tribute here. Yeah, it looks like they will get the pickup. No disrupt out of Nazebo and Reyna will get the pickup. Two tributes already for Wellmet. Uh, good job just letting the first one go and having an easy time just picking up the next two. Yeah, good, uh, good idea to let the bot go and uh, let Hazoops play instead. Oh, we might see a little ganking attempt here. Brightwing is out of position. Can they get the stun off? Yes, they can. But Abathur jumps in there and he helps out, and Brightwing stays alive. 
Yep. So, uh, not even close with the help of Abathur there. Um, I think he can be a really, really strong addition to your team, even, uh, also in terms of support. Yeah, um, Abathur is definitely doing a good job so far, and they're they're really um, and they're really doing a good job staying alive. But I'm I'm a little bit surprised that they uh, aren't pushing this lane in the mid harder. Um, Zagara is actually the one that's probably doing the best job pushing the lanes here, um, with Hysterica just. Yeah, just hitting all these towers. They are pretty low on mana, uh, pretty low on ammo. And now we're gonna see the next team fight. Dynamite Ducks wants to pick up this tribute, but there comes the disrupt out of Stagara. Uh, okay, he tries it again, but Reyna's in position. Hasuops gets the disrupt off, and now we have three people channeling over this. Yeah, this and the rest and the rest of Well Met is going up top to fight the boss. So there will not be even any contest for the for the second uh, tribute there. This was actually the first time I've seen uh, three people channeling at the same time. But well met, they did decide to completely uh, forgo about these uh, about this tribute and go for the enemy boss instead. And they're gonna grab him, no worries at all. Oh, Vela, completely out of position. There comes the son of Mudan and a follow up out of Uther, and he actually gets pretty low with the with the ultimate hit there. There he comes in, and another ultimate out of a Nazebo. Yeah, Muradin Ooh. pretty low. He has to run for his life with this dear horse uh, under his under his back, and that was beautiful done by by the Vala. This yeah, good job executing that. I'm really surprised how uh, well Dynamo Dux is playing this so far. Um, I mean, they're, they're do really doing a good job disengaging in these team fights and really knowing when to um, yeah when to try to focus someone down and when to leave the fights. So they're taking out the boss, uh, should deal with these easy mercs here pretty soon, yep, no worries at all. And the fort is still standing. And already Nomi is standing on the bot, uh, on the bottom side boss and is waiting for his team. They're gonna go for it because they know that Team Dynamite is completely out of position up top. Oh, now the... Uh, oh, the they gotta grab the third tribute though! Yeah. Well, Matt is coming up there. Oh, Let's see who can grab it. This is gonna be a sure. tough fight. Yeah. Where Matt comes in there, Brightwing is already on top of the tribute, not trying to channel, there comes the storm, getting this dropped off. Oh no me! Completely out of position on the right side, but Ufer jumps in with the Divine Storm, gets a good hit off, and whoa, Brightwing is taken out, Nazebo has to retreat on the right side, Pals and Clown taking a lot of damage, but Arthas is already pretty low, Murden gets on top of him, takes him out, and we had them all on the right side, getting thank a lot, and Boomstick, and wow, they're gonna get the double kill, wow. just to top it off. What an incredible fight out of well met. Yeah, uh, I have to agree to 100%. That was a brilliant fight, well executed, and they get the deserved uh, th uh, third tribute there for their efforts. And they completely demolished uh, team dynamics there in this fight. Yeah, the Dynamite Ducks had no chance there. I mean, they, they tried to hold on, but a really good stun out of, a double stun out of Ufer and Muradin, um, yeah, made it almost impossible for them to uh, to kind of gain traction in the fight. And now, where Matt is gonna go for the boss, and they're gonna have a really strong push at their hands. Yeah. Um, they got the, uh, the curse for 30 seconds now. And I wonder what they do with the, uh, with the curse right now. Uh, it seems like they wanted to push the mid turrets and the mid gate, and they might even get a four out of this. Yeah, they already got the top four down in that last fight. Uh, now the middle is gonna fall. Jordan jumps in there. Ooh, he gets a stun off on the uh, on the Zebo, but uh, looks like he can get away. And they will get this fort, no issues there at all. Um, we have the easy mobs fighting the boss down here, but the boss will get the fort. And wow, what an amazing play, good timing out of well met. Uh, getting the, the middle forward, getting the, the bottom forward, and if they can get this next team fight as well, this might just spiral out of, con out of control for Dynamite Ducks. Yeah, they have snowball potential at their hands, so uh, let's see what they can do out of this. Um, let's wait for the next tribute spawn. Maybe Team Dynamite Ducks can turn this around with uh, when they grab the third tribute. They will have the curse as well, and they can push but that's uh, that's up for us to see when the next tribute comes in oh there's the grab on the hard camp 
and yeah, last one falling here pretty soon. So they're gonna go for the hard camp, take that, and while dynamite ducks are occupied with the hard camp, they gonna go for their own. <laughs> this spiraled into complete map dominance for Team Well Met. I never had uh, would have expected that. I mean, just one fight, team fight, well taken for them, and um, yeah, I mean, they're doing a good so job so far, just keeping uh, Dynamite Ducks on their toes on their side of the map, and not having any real map vision. I think one thing they could improve though, just take out these easy mercs. Um, they just need one player down there, I mean, they do have the map vision, they know where Dynamite Ducks are, so just send a single player down there, um, just take them out. Because now their top tower is gone, and the bottom one might fall as well, but no, they take out the mercs, no real issues there. But these have been raging for a while, so they could have taken these out earlier. Yeah, to completely agree with you there. Um. Well, we're gonna see the next team fight. Uh, the boss is coming in for Dynamite Ducks, and they're getting ready, they're gearing up to take it, and I think Red Matt knows what's up. Yep. Uh, and it's uh, quite before the storm, the symbiote uh, comes in for Abathur on the Nazebu. And that's interesting, but a nice choice, I gotta say. I mean, that's that's a lot of burst, uh, that's a lot of sustained damage for them. Yep. And ooh, Murden gets a good stun off on, on the uh, clone Nazebu. Murden just uh, jumps in there and. Gets a good stun off, but they can't engage yet. That's no, an amazing storm. Ooh, there Nazibu comes the double ultimate, but they all get away. Uther is shielded, he gets away. The ultimate is up, and now they can jump back in there. Nomi is singled out though, and there comes uh, there comes the enchant on him. Tacita goes down. Wow, and the Maw just getting a single player. Oh, this is actually a pretty good fight here for Dynamite Ducks. They can just get the single player, they might get in control here for this team fight. But it looks like we will have the disengage. No! They get the kill out of the bright, bright wing. Good job here by Pausen Clown. Getting that stun off. And Arthas, can he get away? He has the help of Abathur on his back. And looks like he might be able to. A good stun out of Shigwin. Wow. Even they tra even uh, though they traded equally, uh, they traded one for one. Uh, they could not contest this tribute any longer, so it falls to the hands of well met and uh, they do what they have always done in this match. They gonna obtain complete map dominance out of this fight. I have to say, uh, this is so amazing of Team Well Met. Yeah, I mean, that fight was actually not too shabby out of Dynamite Ducks. They were two levels down, um, got a decent fight out of it with with some nice decision making, uh, just luring Well Met uh, into their zone. And, I mean, it worked out pretty well, but the thing is, they couldn't really find another engagement there. And uh, they were pretty low on health, so um, tr couldn't try to get the tribute, couldn't try to get the boss. And now, again, on the back foot, just like last time. Yeah, and well, this Matt might grab the next tribute here without any real contest uh, coming out of Dynamite Ducks. Those those little team fights or those those large engagements, better to say that, uh, are spiraling out of control for Team Dynamite. So uh, Uther is already grabbing the tribute with no contestant at all. So they get their second tribute, and now they are even in tributes again. Yeah, we have no camps uh, respawning all too soon. There's this, there's the easy camp coming in for Well Met, but I think um, they're just waiting for the next tribute spawn, or possibly just uh, Dynamite Ducks going on the bot lane and then surprise them. But I've I've seen this exact strategy and it went wrong once before. So I don't know. Uh, they they gonna cancel their their surprise gank. They are go rather go for the boss on the bottom uh, on the bottom lane. And um, yeah, Team Well Met, again, with the map dominance here, they are pushing left and right, top and bottom, and um, yeah, that's just, we have to wait for the next tribute spawn to see where this is going for Team uh, Dynamite, because I mean, that's Theoretically, Dynamite Ducks, they need to force uh, that next tribute, they need to get it, uh, otherwise they're in real trouble, because the boss is up right now, If the, the tribute should be spawning here any second, and if they get that tribute with the boss still up, oh, he's just gonna go nuts on that keep, but yep. maybe they can take him out beforehand, uh, we should be seeing the ultimate out of Abathur, but I think uh, there was a stun on him, so 
not coming in for now, and well Matt is actually helping out their own boss. Good decision. Meanwhile, the tribute is uh, about to spawn at the top lane, or between the top and the mid lane, and Team Well Met uh, almost instantaneously uh, go for the tribute. And now we have a team fight about to occur. Yeah, Dynamite Ducks, they're moving in, but they're moving in towards the choke point. I don't know if that's the right decision. Nomi comes in with the stun off on, uh, on the copied Zeke. And oh, he takes a lot of damage, but doesn't quite go down. Now he falls, but we have the other ultimate up for the real Nazebo. He puts some, some decent damage on Zagara, and she falls there on the left side, and Vala gets out of there. Nice engagement so far here for Dynamite Ducks, but they have to have the, right, uh, the disengage right now. Tessa's ultimate is up, and oh, Uther falls. Uther. Wow, Nomi might be the next one to fall. Can he get away? Looks like he can, and goes straight for that mana well, just but to heal back up. But so far, five for th uh, five for three, good fight. That has to be the tribute for Team Dynamite. It ha it absolutely has to be, and maybe maybe they can turn this game around into their favor once again. Uh, now the curse is active, and let's see what they're gonna get out of this. Still, we have the Zagara and the Uther down. Oh, Bala Nomi is singled out. He can probably jump over there, but Arthas is already on the other he side waiting for him. Wall. And he jumps into the trap, dropping right into the zombie wall. Shigman is pretty low, but I think he can stay alive uh, with Apathar on his back. They're gonna take up this middle fort here. No issues at all. Yeah. Wow, what a fight. What a way to turn this around. Dynamite Ducks back in the game. Yeah, and... This is uh, this is the map, uh, uh, Cursed Hollow. It's all about those engagements. Maybe they happen not quite as often as on other maps, but when they happen, they are uh, can be game deciding. Yeah, the problem is, well, Matt still has two tributes. So once this curse is up, we're gonna have that little wait time until the next tribute spawns. But I mean. Uh, Dynamite Ducks, they'd really have to be on top of their game, just win every team engagement, or at least disrupt Well Met long enough to have those, well, to keep the tributes. There's yeah. one tribute going towards Well Met, and the whole game can turn again, and that's really what you gotta love about Cursed Hollow. Yeah, that's basically like match point at uh, set 3 or something, <laughs> uh, at, at tennis, of, and you're playing the other, like, four sets. Uh, against this match ball and uh, it's exactly what we have here we have one slip up for team uh, dynamite and this game goes down the drain for them uh, but dynamite they is gonna grab the boss yeah and maybe they can get a good timing out of this the next boss only respawns in four minutes so um, they got this oh no they actually disengaged the boss oh they're waiting they're setting up a trap but the oracle has not popped yet out of the rookie so I think he's gonna save that. They knew they were going for it. We, we have the Avatar stun. ultimate again on Azebo. And Arthas wants the engage here. He's chasing them down. They're on mm. the run. Zagara, she's being stuck. Ooh, nice shrinking here on Arthas. And the but army of the dead is already activated. So Arthas, Arthas is in chasing mode. But they're, yeah, they're disengaging. Um, good choice. Uh, good choice by where Matt. They saw that the ultimates were popped, and I don't know if uh, Dynamite Ducks should go for this right now. At least they gotta be cautious. Oh, the copy. Nomi singled out again. Oh, he's enchanted as well, but Ufer comes in to save him. Arthas getting out some decent damage onto him, but oh, he's ah, he's being pushed back. Tacita falls. Arthas is pretty low, but Abathur is on him. And they need to disengage right now. They don't have their ultimates, but um, I think well, Matt also uh, popped a pop couple of ultis, so they shouldn't be too eager to get into that fight either. Yeah, I saw the Archon there. I saw the Divine Storm. So at least two ultimates are down for Team Well Met. Also, Garrus like just doing an amazing job keeping Dynamite out of this uh, fort area, or <laughs> well, whatever remains of it, at least. Yeah. And they're gonna go for the boss now, um, with Tassel still gone, they shouldn't have a problem, but both teams are actually going for the boss. So this is one of the most even games here at 20 minutes that I've seen, at least for the late game, uh, I've not seen uh, such an even game. Yeah, well, it, it became that, because uh, Team Dynamite seems to be on a, on a comeback here. They were completely f one full level behind. 
and now they are a little bit ahead even. So and the next tribute is spawning right now. Yeah, Nomi already on it. Make no mistake, I mean, well met. If they get this tribute, everything can just spiral in their favor again, and they get it. No real contest coming out of Dynamite Ducks. And this is the issue we were talking about before. Uh, good thing they did grab that boss, so now um, well met has to go back and defend their own gates. But uh, they have to go back as well and uh, take this boss out, and I think the previous one already got some damage done here on the gates, so they do need to kill that really quickly. Yeah. And Otherwise it's even harder if the your key. turrets don't fire. So, um, yeah. Well, it was basically a, uh, the the boss on the top was an insurance for uh, that slip up to have uh, when it happens. So, yeah, they they get the boss. Uh, the boss just destroyed the tower and and the well, I think. So, that's not as much damage as Team Well Met has hoped for, but they are gathering right now at the top lane and want to push in for the keep. Uh, the keep is being uh, being shielded here though, and I think uh, Abathur also... no, never mind. Um, that was on the other team. I think they did pick up the mule to, to repair, um, repair the forts and keeps, Enough. but uh, that was the other team. So, well met with the disengage, they're gonna go for the easy camp and the timer for the hard camp is coming up here on Dynamite Duck's side, so I think they're probably gonna grab that pretty soon. Uh, one of the more important camps to take there and well met, still occupied, uh, still occupied with the easy camp. I don't know exactly what Dynamite Ducks are doing right now. And they seem to be a little bit without a real tactic or plan right now. Oh, they um, might be in trouble, I think they wanna steal the, the hard camp out of well met, but I don't know if that's oh, the right idea oh, here. Well, Matt seems to come from behind them. With oh, the they have him trapped. They have him trapped next to the gates. Oh, this is awful for Dynamite Ducks. And an amazing Divine Storm coming in. Brightwing taking so much damage. And there comes the Maw, taking out two players. Brightwing does get away, but they come out of the Maw. And there's no one to save him right now. Nazebo goes down. The Abathur, um, the Abathur copy also went down. And Arthas might be able to get away. He's taken a lot of damage, though. And looks like everyone else just retreated out of this. Good. Wow! Brightwing comes in! She pushes everyone back, but Raynor. Uh, Raynor's actually taking out. Wow, what a good job. Arf is still staying alive. Dynamite Ducks, they're on fire here. Nomi's actually pretty low. There comes the heal out of Woofer, and he stays alive. But what a fight. What a move out of Brightwing to keep Arf is alive. Yeah, yeah. I gotta admit, that was pretty awesome. And they are fighting with bare hands here. They don't want to give this up. And it's a good thing, I think. That that makes up for an exciting game here at the almost at the end of, of this match between those two teams. Oh, don't say that yet. We had 45 minute games before. Uh, I hope it's not going to turn out that way. But um, Bitaitis and Chat just said it. Uh, I'm just surprised how fucking good Dynamite is. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is their first showing um, in in a big cup, and wow, they're really yeah. standing their ground. But Arf is completely out of position, and well, if if you're taking that much damage, even even Abathur can't save your ass. No. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so the hard camp goes in favor of well met, and but it seems like it does not do. Uh, any damage here on the towers or gates of Team Dynamite. But here comes the push from Team Wellmet. Can they get the key? That's the question. Well, they have to take out the towers first, and the tribute came up behind this. But it looks like they want to go straight for the key. Um, no tributes taken out of either of these teams yet. So uh, I think they're just going to go with this push, support this push, and then. Um, Maybe if they get some damage done, maybe bait out an ultimate. But it looks like uh, Dynamite Ducks are not falling for it. Well, they baited out one Nazibu ultimate, but I don't know if it was the clone's ultimate or the real ones. Probably, probably the clone. Oh, there come the Raiders. Raiders, looks like uh, Wilmet wants to take this fight. Naomi already taken a lot of damage. There comes the ultimate out of Zeke. And he tries to get the kill up on Hasuops, but he gets away. And there's the disengage out of Well Met, cleverly done. And it looks like they do want to go for that tribute now. Yeah, both Nazebo ultimates are down right now. Uh, the clone just uh, used his, and uh, before that we had the other Nazebo ultimate. But Nazebo, anyways, uh, going 
forward here. I don't think Wormat can take this fight. Um, even though the ultimates are down for Dynamite Ducks. Oh, Pazukon, a little bit out of position there. Um, Raynor was not joining that fight, so I think uh, this is gonna be... Yeah, they just took it, so this was definitely Dynamite Ducks' tribute. Can they go for the boss now? It's kind of risky. Yeah, but they want to do it anyways. Tazada sneaks in from behind and they disengage. Yeah, yeah. they... Good they, idea. Yeah, that was uh, a good idea of them. And um, But they stick around. They want to uh, fight the team fight here. Oh, Murden sneaks around on the left side. Yeah, Ooh, but that can backfire. Oh, yes it does. Yes it does. There comes stun, but a shield. Nice shield. And Nomi actually jumps out of the ultimate. But... Uh, it looks like we can have a disengage out of Dynamite Ducks, but no, they really want to go for it. Well, Matt's already taken some damage here. There comes the ultimate out of uh, oh. out of Arthas, and he gets some damage done onto Tassada, but he gets away for now. And oh, Vala jumps in and takes him out. Murden also pretty low, but he jumps away. Vala is right onto him though. He can't, yo, he can't run, he can't hide. She takes him out. Yep. And another really oh. good fight for Dynamite and Ducks. And Oh, Tribute spawn, they're gonna take the boss. Nazebo is actually guarding this left side, making sure that Wellmat is not gonna jump in. Uh, I think they had the resurgence on some of these guys right there. Oh, Pausen Clown actually completely out of position on top there. And only the copied Nazebo uh, is on the left side. A wise choice. And Nomi is enchanted. Oh, Pausen Clown with the Divine Storm! Amazing Divine Storm cutting, coming out of Pause Clown, and I think they might turn this around. Arthas is pretty low, just one more hit out of these Raiders, and they take him down. And now, well, Matt can get their own boss and turn this around. But uh, yeah, Dynamite Ducks, they're gonna grab the second tribute. So, even though they didn't win this fight, grabbing this tribute is just so crucial. Yeah, and I have to say, good thinking by Diamond Ducks, Dynamite Ducks, because the tribute was the backup plan. Would uh, this team fight be gone in their favor? They would have pushed or did some uh, do something else. And good thinking, good strategy. Oh, Tassada's actually coming in here. Uh, Hysteric and Hopsops waiting. I think they need their entire team to take this. But the boss has been taken, and looks like everyone can get out of there just in the nick of time. But they yep. do need to stop the boss by Wemet. It's incoming. And there's only uh, the bottom fort uh, with maybe like a quarter of hit points remaining, so they do need to take that boss out. Yeah, it's absolutely urgent to, to take him where he stands. And uh, Muradin falls is, nevertheless. Yeah, and Muradin is uh, heading towards the tribute, which is coming in right about now. And yeah, he's gonna grab that, no issues yeah, at all. Should be pretty uncontested. Yeah, they're gonna take down the boss. But it did take out the keep, so um, that's two keeps gone for Dynamite Ducks. And with that, two lanes with these uh, catapults, and they're just so strong. You always have to go back, deal with the catapults, and it's just a nuisance. I mean, they do have Abathur, so he can um, he can empower one of the minions. Uh, if he did take, take that talent, I don't think I've seen it out of him. Um, oh, does, he, he does have promote, so... Yeah. And yeah, he can do the, especially the catapults. The promoted catapults can be a real pain, and you can even uh, promote two of these if you wait for the cooldown. So well, they don't have a keep down yet, so they don't have any catapults. Ah, but yeah. he can he can pr promote one of their own minions uh, to have an easier time dealing with the um, dealing with the catapults, and he can also jump into the minions. Um, Dynamite Ducks, they wanted to take this easy camp, but well, Matt is moving in and they saw that. They saw that were, they were incoming. So, uh, getting the hell out of there. And well, Matt, back on the mid lane, trying to fight these hard, uh, these hard mercs. And uh, Team Dynamite is doing uh, what they did the whole game, and that is uh, basically, uh, despite some other actions, being defensive. And I don't know if that's the right choice. They should go in their fight for this tribute because that can be game ending and we have already Pausen Clown grabbing oh, they, the they tribute. Need, they need this chat. At, no, it's no. not coming in. Wow. Arthur's, uh, Arthur should have gone in there uh, with the stun a little bit earlier, but ah, Dynamite Ducks were still out of position. That's quite unfortunate. Now we're going to have that massive fight for the last uh, and 
final tribute. And the knights, wow, they actually made their way into the base here and, uh, well, now they're taken out. But still two catapults and we see the danger of the catapults there. Yep, exactly. Um, they are very, very mighty siege minions. And, uh, yeah, gotta say, 45 minute game, here we come. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, it's actually a level advantage right now for Dynamite Ducks, which I'm kind of surprised about, but um, I gotta give it to Well Met. They have two keeps down. Um, it's just a matter of time for them to, to take out this Nexus. If they get the top keep as well, it's gonna be too much, just too much pressure in all of these lanes oh. for Dynamite Ducks to deal with. And the next tribute is, is about to come in. Oh, what an amazing position for Wellman. Yeah. Completely on their side of the map. They were already oh, halfway over there. They're just gonna grab it. There's no way for uh, for Dynamite Ducks to contest it. Oh, and they're in big trouble now. Catapults coming in on all sides. Uh, lots of minions coming in. Uh, no towers left standing for them. They're in big trouble. They're gonna have a hard time defending this. And now they have to be on the defensive and they have fully aware and they have to be fully aware of what team well met is doing where are they pushing seems like they push top right now and first damage is coming in yeah they, they'll take out this keep i mean uh it, it's gonna be tough for for dynamite ducks to even to even contest that maybe if they get an amazing amazing engagement out of this um i mean that's really their only way to win this right now because otherwise the the catapults are just gonna kill this uh in the end no matter what yeah. They really need to win this next team fight and maybe even get a team kill out of this. Otherwise, it's going to be tough for them to at least win this match. But uh, for now, it's just holding on. And um, yeah, Arthas just trying to stop these minions. They're doing a good job so far and not giving, uh, not giving them at any angle to actually get into this no. team fight. It's going to be the last stand for the last keep here of this match. And the copy of uh, Nazibu is... Uh, scouting here. Yeah, well, Matt, they're just stalling. They want to go for that boss, but I think this might be a choice here for, for Dynamite Ducks to uh, just go and kill them. Because if they're going for the boss, this gives them... this might give them the angle to actually get all of them. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they're also going for their own boss, so that's not gonna happen. And then you gotta give it to uh, Matt once again, since um, their boss is just gonna go on the lane. It has no real defense whatsoever, and yeah, I think the Nexus will be taken here. It will be taken damage pretty soon. The catapult is in there. Uh, minions are a little bit stronger, and we we see the first damage here going down uh, on the Nexus. We got the question in the chat if you could show the talents real quick. Yes, we will. If there's downtime, sure. Um, okay, we got Resurgence out of Tassadar and out of Muradin. Really strong choices. Bolt of the Storm for Reyna and Zagara, and of course the Divine Hurricane must have for Uther. Uh, on the other hand, we have Bolt oh, of the Storm for Vela. Hold on for a second. I think a team fight is uh, going to break out. Sorry for uh, for the interruption there, but Muradin is going in. Nomi here is uh, stun. Oh, misses. the ultimates are popped. They want to get Nomi, but he has shielded. He's gonna be fine. Pausing Clown jumps in there. He wants to get that storm off, but right wing doing a good job, just pushing them back. The core is taking a little bit of damage right now, though. Uh, the boss is still hammering away on that. And they need to stop that boss, but Brightwing goes down, and Arthur is also pretty low. Nazibu taking a lot of damage right there. And Nomi, he might be taken out, but Arthur falls first, and I think they can finally get that kill on the Nexus now. Nomi yeah, falls, will. though. Maybe they can spiral, but nope. No way. Nexus falls, and what an amazing game out of these two uh, teams. Yeah. Dynamite yeah. Ducks, man. They weren't on my radar, but they sure are now.